guys, so today what I'm going to be going over is how to set up an FTP client on your Mac OS X for moving files back and forth using molecular shell on the PS Vita that runs the 360 uh, Henkaku exploit. You can get the Henkaku exploit if you're running 360 uh, from Henkaku dot xyz the link will be in the description below and uh, an installation of uh, molecular shell uh, tutorial will also be below as well just follow that link to my other video and it'll show you how to install molecular shell it will be on a windows computer but everything's pretty much natively through the ps vita at this point when you install molecular shell so without further ado let's dive into this video on how to set up the ftp client so first things first Mac OS X does not have a native FTP client service. If it does, it's very difficult to find because I looked all over OS X and I can't fucking find it. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download a third party program. So what you can do is you can go to your app store here and you can just punch in FileZilla. Uh, FileZilla. And if you have FileZilla installed already, it's probably not going to show up on the list. Uh, as you can see, FileZilla Pro is right here, but you can just download the free version. That works just fine, and I have it installed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to double-click on that and open it up. Once you come to this screen, what you're going to do is on your PlayStation Vita, you're going to open up your molecular shell, and you're going to connect to the host. You're going to click in your host. You don't have to worry about username, password, or your port. You don't have to worry about any of that. And what you're going to do is you're going to punch in after hitting select in your molecular shell. Um, your FTP server is now running at FTP whatever it says. So we're just going to type FTP colon double forward slash and mine is 192.168.1.7 colon one three three seven now once I've done that I'm gonna quick connect and you can see that all the files are right here that we're looking at these are the root folders of my PlayStation Vita so I'm just gonna select UXO and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these VPK files and drag them over uh, to my documents so if I go over here and say I have a VPK downloaded and I can select my downloads, but I don't have anything on the Mac because I haven't really done anything per se. Um, and Oh look, FileZilla disk image. Well, that's cool because I'll just set that up in the link below so you can download the FileZilla, the free version, uh, so that way you can uh, install it without having to worry about finding it in the... Uh, App Store. Actually, that's probably where I got it. I probably went to FileZilla.com and got it, come to think of it. Um, but yeah, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, let's see, my memory card swap VPK, and I will add that to my downloads. And as you can see, there's the memory card swap VPK. So if I go to my finder here, and I'll go to my documents or my downloads, uh, let me scroll over here, you can see memory card uh, VPK. So I've successfully copied that from my Vita back to my MacBook and you can do it vice versa. Uh, so that's how that works and that's pretty much how you set up an FTP client on your Mac OS uh, or well your Mac OS X. I always leave out the X part because I was so used to saying Mac OS back in the day. So rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions please leave a comment below. I will be happy to respond to you and get back to that. Other than that, enjoy, and this is how you set up your FTP client on your Mac OS X. And uh, you can also use this with FTP clients with the uh, PS3 running custom firmware. If you have the FTP client application installed on your PS3, and you can also utilize this in the aspect of installing, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, the uh, debug settings on the PlayStation 4 as well. You can use this same concept. So, I'll talk to you guys later. And 